Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about the general wall balance equation as it is used quite frequently throughout the duration of this course. So let's say that we have this control volume here. This machine in the middle is just going to be a generic reactor. Into our reactor we have a flow of fluids, so we can just call this our flow rate in, and it has the units of moles per second. I'm going to represent this as NAN dot. The N is used to represent the moles, the subscript A is to tell us that that is our component of interest, and the dot tells us that our variable is per time. Likewise, on the other end of our reactor, we are going to have an outlet flow rate, which we can call NA out dot, which also has the units of moles per second. We then can perform a general balance equation on this reactor. We can say that the accumulation of component A, or any component that we wish to study, is equal to the flow rate of moles coming into our reactor minus the flow rate of moles of A leaving our reactor plus any moles of A that were generated within the reactor minus any moles of A that were consumed within the reactor. So our accumulation term here can just be written as a differential term moles of A over time, which is just saying for some small change in time how many moles of A were accumulated within our reactor. So let's assign some variables to these terms. The only term that we don't really know much about at this point is the generation and consumption term. As this course is reaction engineering, it should be apparent that this term is going to play a relatively important role when we get into performing balances on various reactors. So commonly, we write out this generation term as a rate of formation of our species of interest, so species A, times the volume of our reactor system. This is because the units of our rate of formation is moles per time per volume. Multiplying by volume gives us the unit of moles per time, just like the mole flow rates earlier. Just as a note, this RA term is a function of the kinetics of the reaction, and therefore will also be very important moving forward. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your fundamental understanding of how we perform a general mole balance. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our Patreon page to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.